and then I'm going to start the stream. Okay. Okay, we're recording right now. All right, and then we'll go silent, and then... And we should be live, hopefully. Um, welcome to tonight's episode of uh, Get the News Straight. I'm your host, Glenn Sutphin. This is my co-host, Chris Percy. Chris? Greetings. Uh, greetings to the body of the people. Uh, I'm just uh, letting everybody online know we're going live. And uh, and then uh, it's, uh, we're going to start uh, covering a lot of ground. It's uh, important that uh, some folks watch. This is an intelligence report. And um, you know, if you want to know what's going on, in the uh, criminal uh, occupied government, uh, we're gonna let you know from from the local level to the federal level to the international level. We've got them all uh, uh, dead to rights, and uh, we're gonna enforce the law and we're gonna expose exactly how these guys are committing these crimes and and their treason in in uh, in detail. So uh, yeah, what what do you want to start? tonight Glenn. Um, we got we got anything uh, any number well, of things we can let, cover let, let's uh, cover the week in review first uh, okay what we did what we did this week the uh, fiasco of the uh um <laughs> uh, uh what we call that a uh, tea party fiasco the whatever that party? was uh yeah that was open to the public and then became private and then whatever it was that was yeah that's not the first and, time and that not, that's and, happened to the tea party and, but, but let's explain exactly what you mean by that uh, okay. um okay so there was a uh, a tea party um, tea party yes. event that yes. was yes. Uh, scheduled for the Richmond Tea Party, and uh, um, there was a scheduled appearance by a member of the Virginia House of Delegates, uh, a uh, a person uh, named Lee Ware, and uh, so I saw you know this through I, I guess. Basically, it was just through the Tri-Cities Liberty Alliance uh, mailing list. And there was a lot of chatter about this particular meeting. And so, uh, when, when the day of, I alerted Glenn and I alerted uh, Chris Lane. And uh, we all met out there. And uh, we went into the Tea Party meeting. And, and uh, um, we, uh, we went to, to, you know, talk to a few folks in the Tri-Cities Liberty Alliance and, and, and put forth put forward our agenda and, and also to ask questions about what you know because we were you know we were trying to figure out what was going on see what was going on and yeah, see what was going on and they said come and ask questions right we came we started asking questions they told us shut up right i mean <laughs> they, like, they, they did it more than just like shut yeah, up it was they they had they the were very confrontational up. you know uh, uh yeah maybe uh Maybe we can uh, share that video, um, you know, uh, from the event uh, on the event page now. If 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 folks haven't seen it, and um, you know, basically what happened was I uh, approached Lee Ware with with this document, and uh, mm -hmm. I, I I can read it. Uh, yeah, go ahead and read. Uh, yeah, I'll read it. This is this is approached members of the Tri-Cities Liberty Alliance with, uh, and uh, uh, Delegate Lee Ware, and this is, it begins, uh, uh, and it says, Virginia Militia Call to Muster, uh, it says, whereas all men by nature are equally, are by nature equally free and independent and have certain inherent rights of which when they enter the state of society, they cannot by any compact deprive or divest our posterity, namely the enjoyment of life, liberty, with the means of acquiring and possessing property and pursuing and obtaining happiness and safety. You know, and our property, our only property are our God-given rights. That's, you know, that's my interpretation of, of that, uh, that beginning uh, part of the Virginia law, the Virginia Constitution. Uh, whereas governments are instituted among men deriving their just powers from the consent of the governed, that whenever any form of government becomes destructive of these ends, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government. Uh, 
Whereas all power is vested and consequently derived from the people, that magistrates are their trustees and servants, and at all times amenable to them. Whereas government is or ought to be instituted for the common benefit, protection, and security of the people, nation, or, or community, of all various modes and forms of government, that is best which is capable of producing the greatest degree of happiness and safety and is most effectually secured against the danger of maladministration and that when government shall be found inadequate or contrary to these purposes a majority of the community has the indubitable inalienable and indefeasible right to reform alter or abolish it in such manner sh as shall be judged most conducive to the public weal whereas the freedom of the press is one of the great bulwarks of liberty and can never be restrained but despotic governments Sounds familiar. Hey, that sounds like whatever what they went totally against while we were there, telling us to get the heck out of there. Right. But, yeah. Well, and well, again, well, we got okay. We got it up on we're, we're, here. We're, yeah. We, oh, yeah. Awesome. So, so <clears throat> we we uh, we pre this is what we're presenting to a to a Virginia government official who is our our servant. Uh, whereas a regulated militia composed of the body of the people trained to arms is the proper natural and safe defense of a free state that standing armies in time of peace should be avoided as dangerous to liberty and that in all cases the military should be under strict subordination to and governed by the civil power okay this is this is from the Virginia call Virginia militia call to muster Whereas religion, or the duty which we owe to our Creator, and the manner of discharging it, can be directed only by reason and conviction, not by force or violence, and therefore all men are equally entitled to the free exercise of religion according to the dictates of their conscience, and that it is the mutual duty of all to practice Christian forbearance, love, and charity toward each other. Ah, Christian forbearance. What does Jesus say about usury? Hmm. Uh, whereas government agents and agencies act contrary to the law they affirm to uphold. This is not from the Virginia Constitution, but it is a statement of fact that I'm present, we are presenting, the militia is presenting to these guys. Whereas privately owned foreign controlled banking in the, the, excuse me, whereas a privately owned foreign controlled banking institution, the Federal Reserve Bank unlawfully controls the government's finances and defrauds the people with debt. I would love for anyone to attempt to disagree with that statement. It's the fact. We, in some way, in, in a relative nature, are debt slaves to the Federal Reserve Bank, which is unlawful, foreign controlled, unconstitutional, uh, and uh, we can to go. Yeah, actually, that's one of the things we have here if we, if we have time today, but you know, you can find this out. The Federal Reserve Bank exists in violation of Article 1, Section 8 of the Constitution, Article 1, Section 10 of the Constitution, Article, uh, uh, Article 3, Section 3 of the Constitution, Article 4, Section 4 of the Constitution, and Article 6. I mean, basically, it's, there's nothing lawful about, about the, the privately owned Federal Reserve Bank controlling the finances of the United States of America. It's just, it's unlawful. 
It's run by Israeli dual citizens, and it's controlled by the Bank for International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland. Um, if you don't know that, uh, you know, do some research. You're not at this level yet. You're not. You're not a competent actor. You're just a citizen and a person, and you, you, you don't have. You know, you have abdicated all your rights. Uh, whereas these repeated injuries, usurpations, and tyranny carried out by government must not be tolerated by a free, sovereign people. I, I'm, I mean, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, it's pretty disgusting that folks put up with this. Yeah. They poison your food. You're like, okay. They, they poison the yeah. air. They poison the water. They poison the ground. They, they, they murder your fellow Americans yeah. on the street, and there's there's no consequence except for that they get more military equipment, yeah. and, and they, they practice shutting down your city and shut down your cities even more. What happened? They shut down the Boston, Massachusetts. They put on lockdown Boston, Massachusetts. And what, what's the response? Give, give, give the police... Put your hands up and run out of your army. house while they tell you to get out. You yeah. Know, and go, okay, we, yeah, what, ha well, what happened to the Fourth Amendment? Don't pretend, this is not the land of the Fourth. Or free. actually the Third, for that matter, because they are an occupying army. So it is, of course, an occupying army. army. We're all quartering soldiers. They just came out and said that we're in a war zone now. It, obviously, it's a war zone. zone. But, gee, hasn't it been that for a while? It's got to be a war zone because it's a war now that we're shoot that some people are shooting back. Okay, okay, let let let's let's get into something real quick about like a war zone. Okay, so they show on PBS every time. Oh, we're, yeah. Why okay. don't you finish what? We're, yeah, we'll finish this and, and we'll, we'll, we'll get, get we'll get into okay. we'll get into the minutia. Yeah, my apologies. Whereas, man, this is important. This is the most important. <clears throat> Whereas, man is the creator of government and therefore has lawful dominion over all institutions and agents of the state. I mean, we'll get in. I, I want to take this maybe point by point. Uh, and then we'll close it out. Be it resolved that the Virginia militia created by our forefathers, mandated by law, is the highest authority and the government will act in strict subordination to the people. I mean, I, I, I don't know how many hundreds of, of these I've passed out. I, I mean, we've posted it uh, to thousands. We'll post it again. Yeah, we'll post it again. Uh, I'll link to all the We're going to, I mean, the call to muster is, is January 14th, 2015 at the state capitol at high noon. So that's that's there. If, if you if you've pushed forward this agenda, you're the body of the people. We're going to be down there. We're going to have press conferences. We're going to get, be giving these documents and other documents as we always do to and our servants and getting it all on video. We're basically documenting this as we'll hold we'll them accountable later. Right. That's what this is. For. Yeah, this is a. This is why I have a camera to hold them accountable later when they go, "No, we didn't do that." Here it is in living color as it happens unedited right. it happens so it's to hold them accountable to the law well, which they are not obeying but beyond this being an intelligence report um, this and everything else that we we are involved in whether it be our appearances on on uh, international television local television Radio. this is this is a yeah radio stations Local, national, international radio stations and shows. The whatever we're putting forward, this is a court of record. This is a public prosecution. We are using this law book and this law book. This law book. And we are making public prosecution against the individuals and the institutions that control the government. Uh, we are reaching, you know, we're reaching a lot of folks, you know, they're, they're pretending like they don't, they don't see us, but, you know, uh, I can see and I, I have a, you know, on good authority that they're getting really upset at what we're doing and what we're saying. The attacks are 
increasing. Getting more physical. Right. But, but uh, um, you know, maybe we can talk about, like, start off by talking about, you know, what happened at this Tea Party event and then maybe take it point by point and show how the Tea Party are a bunch of, like, traitors. And, yeah, and, sure. Uh, I mean, you know, tonight was just about what happened. Yeah. Was, you know. Well, I mean, this is... We were hoping, uh, we were hoping that uh, Chris Lane could be with us tonight. Um but because uh, he, he was there, he, well, he, he was, was he was on. there, and and uh, you know those those folks, you know we we got another one, we got another one up. That's that's John uh, Rooney of the Tri Cities Liberty Alliance, and uh, um, basically, what I what I want to want to push forward is is this idea that we are in a war zone, and the we police. The, the so-called police is an occupying mm -hmm. army, which is unconstitutional. And they do not represent the interest of, of, the, the, people. of the people. They, represent they don't the even represent the, the citizens. They represent the interest of the corporate structure. Yeah. They, are, they are nothing but the armed goons of the status quo government. The and they're, public, they're a street the gang. The public militarized thugs. They are uh, a standing army militarized thugs. Yeah, pretty much. Is the they're uh, like a... I mean, it's, we, the only times we didn't have this is when the militia was the, was the highest form of law enforcement. And that's because the militia... And I'm talking about any militia because there have been all sorts of different kinds There's of militia, militia in the history of the United <clears throat> States. But the militia, meaning the locality and the folks that had the keys to the, you know, the the uh, uh, the armory. So w w what we have is we have an occupying force that doesn't represent us, that is saying that that officially we're going to go out and say we need these armored vehicles because we need to subdue constitutionalists with uh, uh with with guns but yet he took an oath to uphold the constitution and he's oh yeah i uphold the constitution well but it's against the constitutionalist <laughs> right so come on, I mean, come so on. I, I and guess, this is live on TV. We're referencing, yeah. we're referencing, um, you know, the Spokane, Washington, Washington yeah. uh, um, MRAP, MRAP uh, vehicle, which is goated. which was misquoted. Well, so. they said <laughs> right. Yeah, well, but uh, but they're they're just nothing but liars, and and that's that's the bottom well, line. Obviously, so I mean, obviously, so so when we went in there. We went and you know this is a this is a photo right there where where Glenn uh, just put up that's that's John Rooney um, and uh, so uh, we uh, we asked him you know uh, what uh, what do you think about um, the Virginia Constitution and and the fact that under the law the militia and the body of the people should uh, should have uh, uh, control of all these MRAPs and all these vehicles. And and uh, basically, then we, we further questioned another member of the Tri-Cities Liberty Alliance and says, hey, why, why don't we get control of these police vehicles? And as a first step, as a first step to, you know, gaining control back of the government, at least get control of the printing presses at the Federal Reserve Bank of Richmond. Why wouldn't we get control of those vehicles and say, look, we're the militia now, we've had enough of your crazy uh, Dominion Power, Federal Reserve Bank, uh, 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 the government controlled state government, we, you know, we have the, we have the most powerful vehicles around here because we've got to watch you guys. we got to watch you guys who fix elections. we got to watch you guys you know who like the you know sex with the underage children. We gotta right. watch you guys who are stealing the wealth of the people and selling it off to uh, you know foreign planet interest. destroying yeah, foreign, foreign interests interest or whatever. It well, may be. of course, what is the Federal well, Reserve Bank? But well, a foreign, foreign interest. Yes, yeah, you know, so controlled by Je in Richmond, controlled by Jeffrey Lacker. Right. Well, another. That's another. just that's a, that's a right of that's a right of. Uh, of, of money 
that's a, a right of money use to China. I mean, because China, the Chinese companies are going to, you yeah, know, it, it all ties in. It all yeah, ties it's all, in. It's all right. part of that same structure to suck us dry. Right. Leave us a husk and then come in and go, now you citizens will do what we say. So, and so why, why would, why are folks going along with this? We, we made a reference to a war zone and, and, and uh, you know, I've seen statistics saying that more folks have died, you know, been killed by police than, in, than, in have, uh, than in Iraq, than Americans. That is a war zone. That's, that's like, but it's like, it's like the same tactics, except for I guess they fight back in Iraq. It's like because yeah, like the, the the police in the United States are like the occupying army, kicking doors down and shooting people yeah, at the, yeah, at people, the wrong house. Yeah, go, Oops! Oops! Sorry. Like yeah, but but again, they know enough that when they see us coming with a camera and guns, that they run away from us. So they know enough to do that, but yet they don't know enough not to go in and execute a nine-year-old child. Yeah. All right, they know enough here in Richmond to like you know like sit there in silence or walk away or like look down, but they don't know enough not to shoot a guy who's out on his front porch brushing his, his freaking teeth. teeth. teeth come on, come on, man! Down. I don't buy it. I don't buy it. But one thing I do know is they're <laughs> an unlawful gang. Yeah. One thing I do know is is that we. The people are in control under the law that they swear an oath to uphold, and we create the government. The government doesn't create create us and yeah. give us our rights. Our rights are given to us by God. Our rights are granted to us by the Creator yeah. of nature, the Creator of the earth and the universe. We are born free. We are born with inalienable rights given to us by God, not granted to us by government, because man creates government. The people create and ordain the government, not the other way yeah, around. Like that says there. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Elections will fix a broken government. Okay, so yeah, there, there's, there's, a, um, there's, there's a video where where, you know, we're getting out there. Like the One thing they like to do is they like to obfuscate what we're doing. This is what, what the plan is, basically. This is what the plan was with the Dorsey for Sheriff campaign. It was just to push the Sheriff's Department into a militia to march down to the Federal Reserve Bank and say, and look, what the people be. are controlling the printing press now, not Israeli dual citizens like Stanley Fisher, Janet Yellen, and Jeff Lacker. Didn't we, like, uh, last year around this time, march in the rain down there? <laughs> we did. Yeah, we did. We, yeah, I think we it, did. Was, it was. It was on the. One, it was on the anniversary of the of the Federal Reserve yeah. Act. So yeah, it may have been. Uh, yeah, it may have been a lot of some of the folks that. Uh, on, I've got it on my YouTube. Uh, some of the people that are watching might remember. Uh, there was, there was a, a kind of a 100 year yeah. anniversary semi national movement and the Fed type thing. And we went down there, and yeah, we we opposed them face to face. We've made contact with their attorneys. We've said, "Look, we've got you in definite fraud. You're a criminal operation. How do you respond to that?" And they're like, "Yeah, well, we don't have to respond to you because like this is a private bank, yeah. and FOIA yeah. doesn't apply." So, so yeah, it's a they're like, Oof. "Hey, it's a private bank." Yeah. And what's that private bank like a signatory? What does that private b bank agree to do? Abide by the Basel III Accord from the Bank for International Settlements in Basel, Switzerland, which controls all the central banks. I didn't know that they had diplomatic immunity, though. <laughs> you know what I mean? I mean, they're like, oh, no. It's like all of a sudden we got, uh, and they're out of, mm. well, out of their own thing, and it's like, you know, Alan Greenspan said live on on uh, uh, the News Hour many years ago. I, I don't know; it may have even been back in the in the um, '90s. But he basically said, "The Federal Reserve Bank. There's nothing above the Federal Reserve Bank. The Federal yeah. Reserve Bank is autonomous yeah. and can do whatever it wants to, and controls everything. It what controls we say everything. goes. What we say goes." 
and and the bank is in control. These yeah. military operations that go, oh, Russia versus USA, Russia versus China, Russia and the USA, they're controlled by the Bank for International Settlements. So is China. Has been for many, many years, for, for good and all, for good and all time, you know, for... Since Newark. since there was the Bank for International Settlements, and before well, that, like there, were, Newark, there were the Rothschild banks, and yeah. they just hid the name and called it Bank for International Settlements. But it's the same thing. Schiff, yeah. Warburg, Rockefeller, Rothschild, you know, Israel Moses C., uh, you know, Kuhn Loeb. There you go. That's that's, that's, that's what we're talking that, about. Yeah. That's what controls everything. It's not it's not these these idiots that we talk to like. Uh, uh, Freaking Mayor Dwight Jones or or what Congressman Bobby Scott or Eric Cantor or any of these other jokers, you know, you know they're 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 mid level, but but the bank, the Federal Reserve Bank, that's what calls the shots, and that is completely unlawful, and it's it's. It's just a, the mechanism for the beast. It's an international banking cartel, which controls world government. World government is the United Nations. World government is NATO. And world government wants depopulation, population control, you know, to, uh, uh, you know, irradiate the atmosphere in certain areas and freaking spray poisons on you know, all whatever this, else they're putting vaccinations, in the, uh, you know, and forced viruses and the all the other stuff that they the force compliance of imminent domain. I mean, you name it, the, yeah. whatever they want to do, and what they want to do is not what you want. It is not, no matter how good it sounds. I mean, unless we're talking to the right people and we're saying, like, I mean, if it's what you want, then we're coming for you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, but if you're just a regular good, per you know people, if you are a human being with with uh, uh, with respect for yourself, your creator, and you know a certain level of respect for your fellow man, human being, yeah. you know just a certain level, just like where my rights begin, anything else, your rights are infinite, and vice versa. You know, and my rights are, you know, they're, they're, li they're very specific and, and, uh, um, you know, you know, and they're the same that everyone has. Yeah. Everyone, I mean, everyone, everyone, has the same everyone can get along. But the thing is, you know, being a debt slave to the federal reserve bank, being a wage slave to the IRS, that is not, uh, um, that is not, uh, acceptable. And, uh, um, you know these guys that we're, we're talking about from from the uh, um, uh, uh, this one. Yeah. Yo. Oh, yeah. Yeah. These guys that we're talking about. Th what do they think? The Tea Party. They go like, oh, Tea Party. That's anti-government. That's like libertarian. So what are these guys saying? What are these guys saying? Like all these elected officials, they're bought and paid. Well, not all of them. You know, if all we need to do is take over the Republican Party, all we need to do is win a few this. elections. Get the right people in and everything will change. You know, that's ridiculous. But then the right people go in and we still have a continuation of the same exact policy ongoing. It doesn't change. It, well, it does change. It gets worse. And worse, right? And we still go. Well, if we get the right people in, and if we get the right people, when are the right people going to get in there and fix it? But, but the I thing mean, is, it never has it ever been fixed in your lifetime? No. What has it done since you were? Oh, it, it, everything's it, gotten worse. It's gotten worse. Yeah. Well, everybody. Everybody. Okay. How, how about how about we use this as like you know back in the day? What was it? 1974. It was like a you know a single income earner was a. Uh, uh, was was you know making more money average per family than the two income earners that is necessary and folks and still, still can't not making it still today. not making it so yeah i mean if you look at the statistics what does twenty dollars buy you now compared to what twenty dollars bought you back in 1990 uh back in 1999 or yeah you know even back in the year 2000 you could get like a grocery cart full of stuff back then now you get a bag full 
Right. You know, it's like you're working harder for, for less, less on average. <clears throat> Folks are retiring later. Folks, I mean, if they're yeah, retired, who's retired? retired? Who yeah. retired? I mean, yeah. You know, it's like, if they can. And to see how folks live when they're like, oh, I can retire. And then, and then, you know, folks who had good jobs and who used to have money, all their money's gone. They, you know, through, you know, they'll they'll get the worst kind of health care, but it takes all their money. Mm -hmm. You know, there's all these bankruptcies. You know, you could go bankrupt before you even go, you know, make any money by all the student debts. And then what's waiting for you? On the other you're end, bankrupt oh, you're, you're bankrupt from all these hospital bills. <laughs> you're bankrupt when you're born, and you continue Man, to be in debt. This it's, this stuff is all just just a, a big hoax and a scam that's being played on you. Think about this: you have no say in everything that controls your life, and that's the value of the money you work for. Mm-hmm. You know, that's what controls everything you do. You're like, oh, I'd like to smoke some weed, but I gotta pee in a cup. What, you gotta fucking do what in a what? Pee in a cup? Wait a second. Isn't there a Fourth Amendment to the United States Constitution that might ban, like, yeah. somebody from examining the fucking bodily waste of, a, of an American? You know, in order to decide whether they can, can or can't but, get a but job? It's for our, but it's for our protection. Just like the TSA groping you at the airport. Right. Oh, you yeah. know what? Protection. That is some... Okay. So there's pictures. There's photos that are like of uniformed government agents molesting children. Okay. And They're illegal. molesting children. And they are brutal. grabbing and groping children and occasionally it's caught on camera. Or I should well, say, even, well, it's not even not only children, it's released. It's anybody. Oh like, yeah, women. I mean, yeah. I mean, know, hey, it's they're free. They're equal opportunity employees. I mean, they, they, yeah, they, they, any, any and all. Any, you know, uh, uh trisexuals. Yeah, no, try anything. <laughs> try anything. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah well, that that, okay? that that is but that fits in with their that MO. fits in with the government agents right, from so. the police all the way uh, up to the to the royals. royals. To the, the royals, royals. Yeah. yeah. Up to the royals. So-called the royals. royals. Because, as yeah. we know, these are usurpers. Right. Yes. And this is, you know, we you know we can touch on... I, w- I do want to touch on the fact that this is part of a grand s- scheme. And, uh, you, know, you know, we can trace it back through the bloodlines of the individuals who are the people, the original body of the people, and uh, um, how they were kind of, you know... Factionalizing in Europe when the you know uh, Khazar slash Jewish bloodline started uh, um, forcing out or, or indebting in every way the uh, uh, original royal houses of, of Europe, um, which is which is important, and uh, this goes back uh, a long a long distance in history, but. Uh, that's something to look into rather than us getting into the minutia of that right now. But it, is, it does tie into who the body of the people is and what the purpose of our sacred and founding documents are. Uh, because it's just a verification written that this land will be common law land. This land belongs to the body of the people. The militia is the highest standard. That's why this is militia intelligence report. Not to be given away to foreign entities and foreign countries. Right. Without any due process. Anything. Just gone. And it goes. Um, well, who, 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 a, who decides all that? A lot of folks have, have said that, that this goes on because... There has been claims made and claims to the claims made, and that no one has properly challenged the claims. Mm-hmm. But and, but and what we're saying is, you know, our claim is we are the <laughs> body of the people, and we're making our claim, and we're making our claim, and we make a claim that we are man, sovereign, and independent. And a government agent can never do that. Uh, a, a banking institution c- 
can, can never do that. Again, not only are governments instituted by people and ordained by people, but so are banks. And that, that a institution cannot bond out populations and generations of people and individuals. And neither can treaties that aren't. Not yeah. anything that contradicts the United States Constitution is null and void. So yeah, any of these United Nations treaties, when when we see you know uh, uh, the former head of the uh, of the so-called Pentagon, this I mean yeah. the so-called Defense Department of the so-called United States of America, say in a alleged stay I mean you know all the all this is a mockery the Senate's a mockery now because yeah. it's been displayed yeah. but but when it was displayed in its entirety is when Ben Bernanke says he doesn't have to answer to anyone a- in Congress when it comes to the <clears throat> finances of the United States violation of article 1 section 8 and then Leon Panetta yeah, as the de- head of Defense Department states, to a Senate committee hearing <laughs> that he answers to the United Nations and he answers to NATO and he may tell the United States Congress what those foreign entities, those international one world government entities have decided to do with the United States Army. What For whatever that words those words together mean because again the, if the you're in the united missionary. there are mercenaries if, if one is in the united states military one is a mercenary for, for the international bankers that's it you're not a united states of america that's the american army no that's the occupying force i see a lot of memes about about uh, um the uh, oh there's there's oh 80 countries and 700 military bases. Shit, how many military bases do we have just around this one metro area of Richmond, Virginia? Yeah, like all of them. Dozens? At least. I mean, I mean, that's the ones that are visible. That's the ones that I are mean, yeah. yeah, the ones that are okay. So, who's I mean, why are we freaking occupied by this foreign government? Because it's well, obvious. Okay, we're not only that. How many precincts are there and police stations? Oh, of course. So, there you I mean, go. this I mean, is yeah, we're this o- is we're more occupied. This is such an occupied, you know. Uh, uh, this is such like an occupied state. It's it, it's the most imprisoned population in the history of the planet. The planet. Yeah. There has never been a more ens- enslaved and imprisoned population than the United States of America at this time. Um, it, and it's going to get worse. No, I, I don't think so. I, I, do. I, I think it's I going to get do. better. Well, it's up. Uh, it's not going to get worse for me. The body of the people need to stand up because this is what we need to make very clear. We need to make very clear, and this is not a joke. I know the the only thing our opposition can do is send out snarky fucking high school teenage type uh, acting adults and like yeah. say, "Oh, this is a big joke." We need to do something about this. I mean, if you like going along with this society, this morally contemptible society that's destroying the planet and enslaving its, you know, inhabitants, if you like this, man, fuck you. Eat shit. (laughs) I hope you, I hope you, you know, you drop off the face of the fucking planet. If, if not... We need to go and get, you know, I heard somebody repeat it on, uh, on Pastor Rob Scarborough shows on 1450, where she called in, they were talking about how, oh, the government sucks and it's corrupt and, you know, going from the, you know, from the Federal Reserve Bank uh, uh, Act of 1913 all the way down to the fucking shit ass Richmond City School Board. Like yeah. it's, and oh, so this, on now. you know, so, so a regular <laughs> caller called in and she said, I think we need to go with Chris Dorsey's idea. I think we need pitchforks and torches. So, you know, on January 14th, 2015, 
That's the first day of the General Assembly. We'll be out there with, with our podium, our loudspeaker, our cameras, and our guns. And if you want to bring your guns, bring your guns, please. It's, it's your right. The militia is, is mustering. Everywhere we are, the militia is mustering. You know, if you're a part of the body of the people and you have your rights come from God, you're, you're, a, you know, you're part of the unorganized militia. You're a part of the body of the people. You are a people if that is the case. If you comprehend your rights given to you by God, then you're one of the people and you're already a part of the militia whether you like it or not. <laughs> whether you like it or not, if you comprehend your rights, you're a part of the militia whether you like it or not. Come out with your... Pitchforks. Hey, I got an extra. I got a camera. Pitchfork. Torches. torches. Come out with your loud speakers, flashlights, whatever. Disco Trump. balls. Yeah. Your freaking crazy costumes. Your pizza. Yeah. Make it a ban banjo, unicycle, whatever, yeah. whatever there kind of go. thing that goes. But these guys got to get confronted. If we want to make this, if this place is a circus. Terry McAuliffe, the the jester, <laughs> the one-eyed Jack Jester, the fool, the the uh, trickster, Terry McAuliffe, the drunk trickster, stated he doesn't want the General Assembly to be a circus. Really? <laughs> don't go on television drunk as shit, acting a fool, Terry, if you don't want to turn something into a circus. Quit trading secrets to the Chinese and, and giving them... What, what's he giving them now? Uh, water rights, of course. Oh, but a water park. Is yeah, that, water that's kind of like a circus. Yeah, pretty much. I um, mean, what kind of circus are you running, Terry, you degenerate? <laughs> we'll give you a copy of this too, buddy. And, and, and another thing with, with uh, uh, Teflon uh, uh, Terry, the, uh, um, the, the Clinton uh, druggy drunk stooge, the freaking, you know, horse-faced man. Like... Here's the thing with you, you fucking asshole, Terry. Um, I, oh, speaking of circuses and Terry, I met Terry, and I know associates of Terry in this town, uh, and I met goofy, Yankee, uh, carpet-bagging, shitbird Terry McCullough at the Camel. <laughs> The freaking camel. You know the camel. I've heard it, yeah. Okay. He was running unsuccessfully against Cree Deeds, the uh, uh, Washington general of, of Virginia politics. You know, uh, uh, if you know what I mean, if you're familiar with the Harlem Globetrotter Washington general scam. Um, the Malky brothers of... Virginia politics for for those who like maybe a, a, a little closer analogy of professional wrestling. Um, <laughs> no, we, we don't want to go into pro no. Well, it's it is it's uh, all I, fake I, and it's I, fixed. Yeah, exactly. So that's why the analogy is is apt. So Terry McAuliffe um, was uh, was making a public appearance when he lost the Democratic primary with. Will I am? Yeah, okay, I remember, yeah. And this was bringing out folks, and Terry, when asked questions about his criminal activity in the Clinton administration and torture and 9-11, he's like, ah, uh, well, torture's over. Just, no, it's not. you got to be kidding. You're an idiot if you think the CIA wasn't torturing before September 11, 2001, and, and up to right this second, they're torturing somebody right now. You know, uh, um, lots of people, uh, Guantanamo is still open, there's still, you know, secret bases all over the world where they're, and they're you know, Can't rendering and, and uh, uh, extraordinary rendering and all this other, you know, bullshit. And he says, well, uh, now's not the time or place to talk. I guess because the fucking, you know, prestigious will I am. Is standing there? I mean, the guy didn't even fucking play any music. He just fucking stood there shaking hands with Terry McCullough. And there was a fucking line to fucking shake Will I M's hand. Who the fuck is that guy? I mean, his music fucking sucks. And, like, he didn't even play any of it. 
But again, this more Illuminati fucking bullshit, more Zionist Jew Hollywood bullshit, and Terry McAuliffe is just, uh, well, uh, I can't talk now, but let's get coffee. Uh, I, thought, I was like, man, don't bullshit me. He's like, oh, no, 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 it's not bullshit. It's not like that. It's not like that. Call my office and we'll set up a time. I followed up. Obviously, it was fucking bullshit. So anyways, Terry, like with all others, oh, the other thing, Northrop Grumman, it controls the Virginia government. The mm-hmm. entire IT f- infrastructure of the Virginia Commonwealth uh, uh, government is controlled by Northrop Grumman, the charter member of the nuclear industrial complex. Military industrial complex, A and B is probably Boeing and Northrop. You know, Lockheed, Boeing, Lockheed, Northrop. There's others. Raytheon. Ray, there's others, but... But, I mean, they're, and yeah. they're all connected they're all, at the top, yeah. but again, that's the specific institution that runs the Virginia government, and I asked, you know, I've asked pretty much every, every Virginia government official one can think of that it has any clout about Northrop Grumman, and none of them have said a freaking word. <laughs> Creed Eads got shit, he's like, I don't think Northrop Grumman is the military industrial complex. Really? What the fuck? Is, then that those words don't mean anything. Who defined that word? Yeah. Eisenhower. Did yeah. you think he'd know about the military industrial complex? No. It, it was created know. during his... Well, what did he know? Yeah. It, only the... Not the him. Yeah. Not, not him. him. He'd be the last one to find out. So... Well, so, hey, Obama, he's always the last one to find out about shit. How, how, how so, about, like, you know, we'll see uh, if, if, if folks... Do folks think, do you think, let's see if there's anybody, like, listening out there, like, do you think that Northrop Grumman is part of the military-industrial complex? Do you think it's a good idea that Northrop Grumman controls every state agency of the, the Virginia government and that they get the biggest, the biggest contract ever given away in the history of the Commonwealth of Virginia? Where does it go? To Northrop Grumman who makes nuclear bombs and also controls the DMV and the fucking state police and whatever. Yeah. Department of Game and Inland Fishery. You know, yeah, that them. shit too. You know. Department of the Interior. Right, all of it. You know, agriculture. You know, all, all of it. General Assembly. I mean, it's control. It's the most money. And what do they do? They go, well, it's not the state. It's the VITA. That's a public-private partner. Blah, 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 blah. Mm, Northrop Grumman gets the money. They are the ones in control. They have the gigantic facility in Chesterfield County. You know, that's not even the gigant- counting the gigantic facility that they have in, uh, uh, in the Norfolk Naval Yard. I mean, basically, they suck off yeah. of... The American taxpayer. That's how they get their energy. Like, what is what good purpose do they serve? None. Like, we want, we need to get control of Northrop Grumman. The militia needs to be in control of the IT infrastructure for the state commonwealth of Virginia instead of the private institutions, the international private institutions run by Jews. Well, I guess... Uh, um, at this point, Grumman is run by a guy with the last name of Bush. But, you know, the Bushes, they're Jews as well. But this, these deals were worked out under Ronald Sugar, who was then CEO of Northrop Grumman. And anyway, we know who's got the, you know, the interballistic uh, uh, missiles, but who puts in the, the programming? Who makes the missiles? Northrop Grumman, amongst others, amongst yeah. others. But again, it's that element of control. You want, you say, you, you, you out there, and I'm not talking to the body of the people, I'm talking to the citizens. I'm addressing the citizens now. I'm addressing those who are not on the same level as me, those who have abdicated their rights. I'm saying to you, it is insane for you to have an institution that has shown that they will kill, they will kill Americans on the street leave them for dead and and by the thousands and not care. And I'm talking about the police force. I'm talking about the the occupation army that is the military arm, the domestic military arm of the 
Federal Reserve Bank and the corporate status quo structure. I'm talking about the militarized occupation, local, state, and federal police. That's what I'm talking about. They'll kill you on the street. And who do they work for? They work, they work for the ones who... who uh, uh, and, and the police now have armed drones. They're, yeah. they're working for the peop, folks with the Hellfire missiles and the nuclear bombs and the hydrogen bombs. That's who they work for. They're just they're just the foot soldiers for them. But the other folks, the bankers and their minions, the Zionist bankers and their minions, like Jack Weinstein, the brigadier general that had you know controls the ICBMs for the United States government right now, usurpation, our government is null and void, all these folks need to be arrested. They need to be arrested. These Run dual citizens. Oh, like Jack Weinstein, who, who has his finger literally on the button, they need to be arrested. Jeff Wacker, Janet Yellen, Stanley Fisher, we need to arrest these folks. This is not working. If you're part of the police force and you're not a complete degenerate, that would be a rarity. But, but, but arrest they, them. Arrest them. Arrest them. Prove this is good it, cops. right? Because the thing is, what what do we have? We have no control. We have very limited control over. You know, we're you and I. We're waiting on a check to go to the grocery store to yeah, get food it. after our food runs out. Yeah. So why do we give a shit? What the fuck goes on in Russia, especially when it seems like that that the institutions that are controlling the United States government are the ones that are instigating all the problems? But I will say that the Russian government, they're just playing their role because they get money from the same yeah, spots it too. Is the same, so, it's the same, same thing. They're playing both sides. But right. you look at Russia, that's coming here as well. Oh, Russia. Because they're doing Tra the same Why thing. is Russia pay training with special forces? Here's another one for you. Why has the Soviet cosmonaut program and the militarized NASA program been joined at the hip since almost the inception? I mean, why do we have joint space missions? Why are we bringing Russian soldiers over to fort uh, uh, to forts in uh, Colorado to help them train with secret weapons? Yeah. What are they? We don't know about it, and that's allegedly our army, and they're giving it to the Russian army. Wow. And and then we're supposed to believe, oh, World War Three is on the way. Time to. Scramble this way and that because we have, pro you know, the the rich people that run uh, uh, the United States allegedly have a problem with the rich people that run Russia. Oh, uh, the poor people of both countries, they really need to hate each other and we need to fight. Even though we've never I, set I, eyes on, I mean, exactly. I don't except know that there's a lot of Russians in this country. You know what? They'll put Russians as like, you know, quasi-Mexicans like in certain areas in the beach because like they'll work for cheap and they don't want Mexicans to be like working like in certain areas because yeah. like it's not it's good, all, it's it's not all as good same, for tourism. It's all the same divide right. and conquer. It's all so the it's same kind of... divide and conquer. It's like you know, I mean, so, I got I got inside intel on, on prostitution stings in Virginia Beach where where basically they bring Russian prostitutes over. The Jewish Russian mob. The Russian mob is not the Russian mob. The Bulgarian mob is not the Bulgarian mob. They're the Jewish mob. And what's the top Jewish mob? The United States military, the the um the owners of the Bank for International Settlements, the freaking Dimecor and Dimecor, uh, right? Like all the Halbert. Who, who's this working out for? Who? And if we want to talk about real the top adversaries, rich. let's That's talk. The top well, rich. The top rich of every country, they're in on it. They're all in on it together. And if we do want to talk about insane rogue nation states. I'm not going to talk about North Korea and that bullshit that's been created by Hollywood against a Japanese company. Again, everything that gets like attacked and like shit on and fucking <laughs> nuked and fucking you know stuck snocks with the with the fucking Israeli fucking uh, uh, yeah. U.S. one-two punch yeah, with yeah, Fukushima right. and Nagasaki because it's always the Jews inventing the nuclear submarines, inventing the nuclear weapons. It's like. It's their fucking psyche and... We'll blame and, it on Godzilla. Well, <laughs> I mean, I, wanna, I do want to be exact because, like, you know, Oppenheimer, 
Mm-hmm. You know, and then I, I forget the guy's name, but the guy who, who uh, uh, you know, invented the nuclear sub for the, for the United States Navy, he was, he was Jewish as well. Yeah. Uh, um, Rick Croft or Rick something. Rick yeah. yeah, something yeah. like that. A- anyways, uh, uh, maybe, maybe if somebody can look that one up, uh, if anybody's watching, uh, um, this is... This is this is what's what's fact. This is what what happens. This is, you know, Japan gets attacked. Japan, you know, Japan gets attacked when uh, uh, when th- this hack. It's a Japanese company. It's it's you know uh, an event. A- a- again, you know, that's a regional conflict between Japan and North yeah. Korea, and you know, it's just it's you know manipulating sides, and it just it doesn't really make any sense, but. There is a rogue nuclear state that we really should be concerned about, and they uh, they they do a lot. They have a lot more to back up their rhetoric. They have you know North Korea. They don't have any dolphin class nuclear submarines, um, but uh, uh, Israel does. Uh, uh, North Korea. They don't have their nuclear. Uh, uh, <laughs> they don't have their nuclear weapons pointed at all at the capital uh, of the United States, and uh, you know according to. According to Israeli government officials, all of the capitals of, of Europe and, and the world capitals, I- Israel does. Yeah. There, there's, there's something called the, the Samson option. And so that, that's something to, to look up mm-hmm. for, for those. Because, like, we do, like, it's, it seems like we're, we're speaking in, uh, in parables or we're speaking in, uh, uh, in contradiction well, they, sometimes when we say, like, do that it's not the, nation states, but it, it is, is nation, nation states. states. It's, it's hard to explain. Because but but I, I, I want to explain because, because, like, this is the key because when you get to the very top, what do you have? You have a certain bloodline, like the Rothschild bloodline of, of bankers. You have the Talmudist so-called Jews. You have the Sabbatean Frankists. And, uh, you know, that, that stems from Sabbatai Zevi and Jacob Frank. And, uh, um, you know, maybe we'll, uh, uh, we'll put up some Frank, some stuff from, uh, about Jacob Frank and, uh, uh, the, uh, um, the, uh, uh, the Frankists because Frank believed he was a uh, uh, a descendant or excuse me the reincarnation of a Jewish messiah or an alleged to be Jewish messiah called Sabbatai Zevi and these Rothschild bankers who followed they believe That they are, that they are the descendants um, of the uh, uh, of the Sabbatean Frankist line, and that therefore they are the gods on the planet, and they rule uh, through the Talmud, which states that uh, all Gentiles should be killed. Uh, and they're, they're only good for one purpose. Just read, you know, do a Google search for Talmud on Christians, Talmud on Gentiles, you know, Talmud ritual murder, uh, uh, Talmud sex with children, Talmud, all this. They are Talmudists. That's the way they operate and function. And these mind control techniques that they use, you know, like the monarch mind control, the, uh, you know, the, um, the MK Ultra, Operation Artichoke, Operation Bluebird, etc., etc. They're ancient. It goes back to the Egyptian Book of the Dead. So this stuff has been going on for you know for centuries. They comprehended mind control from the beginning. It's a very simple concept. Trauma inducing trauma. It will affect the mind. It will traumatize the mind and the body. You know, and and that. Folks can be manipulated in a very skillful and particular manner, you know, through any number of different uh, uh, techniques of manipulation. So that's what's at the top of all this. 
You know, and it's been going on for centuries. There's been a struggle for centuries. This is a struggle. This is a faction. You know, I mean, there are some folks that think elections solve, you know, problems. There are some folks that think, you know, they wouldn't even know what the fuck we're talking about. Yeah. You know, they think that, you know, watching Dancing with the Stars and, and uh, um, Kim you know, and, and fucking and uh, buying food at Walmart, uh, uh, you know, is the fucking right way to live and, like, everything's fucking cool and uh, uh, all I have to do is just, like, I don't know, be a big, stupid fucking... Yeah, everything's happy and everything's good. Yeah, I mean... Be part of the team and we get along and everything's great. But they, but they, they always realize later rather than sooner, but they never get it when they, they lose their fucking house. They fucking, you know, lose their fucking leg. You know, because they yeah. fucking been eating, fucking yeah. drinking, fucking diet coke. <laughs> you know, yeah. they they uh, you know they you know their their car's gone. They can't afford to replace it. They can't afford to put gas in the car. They can't afford to even to fucking eat at Walmart anymore. Yeah. They, I mean, they'll eventually get it when the fucking boot kicks them in the ass. They'll get it when they Maybe. are when they are. I mean, they're they're. The f- the, at Maybe. least they don't they don't they don't need them around. No. They need them as a shield at this point. But well, yeah, they're, after they're, that, they're cannon fodder. They're cannon fodder. You know, they're they're, they're yeah. They're, they're they're to be sucked from. They're also to be bonded out as as like they're they're worth something when they're worthless. You know, because like honestly, what I see of the bonds that all these folks create out of nothing, and I compare it to what my the the income that I have. I'm telling it, folks, the bond's not worth it. I see the folks who get paid the big money. They are despicable. The more money one has, the more of an enemy of the of the people they are. See, that's it. See, this is why, you know, maybe we can segue back into, like, the left versus right and how yeah. there's resistance movements and, like, how basically we out-conservative the conservatives and we out liberal the liberals because like basically what i'm saying when i say that we say okay let's divide let's not divide under black and white or christian and jew or this a a thing or that thing or coke versus pepsi let's divide rich versus poor because basically that's what decides everything like man if you're fucking rich at the end of the day you go yeah fuck obama oh obamacare sucks but like all right, now I feel better. Let me fucking get back in my uh, Beamer and I'll fucking uh, uh, go back and into my gated neighborhood and sit by the fire and fucking chill out and watch whatever I want. You know, that's what you guys do because it doesn't mean anything. It's all just a bunch of bullshit to you. You go to a fucking tea party meeting, you <laughs> spout off about the Constitution, and then when you're presented with the fucking Constitution, you act like you've never fucking, you know, seen a document in your life. Maybe you know. Haven't. I know they have. I know they've seen it. I mean, they got because they got to give lip service to it. Like you know, they they got to like at least have seen the document. So so we go to the Tea Party meeting, and and they that's what this is. You know, we read from this document. This is taken mostly from the United States and Virginia Constitution. So we go to the Tea Party, and we say, oh, it's militia time, and and like you know. It's the people. It's the Constitution. And, you know, foreign control, the banking system, and America first. And they go, uh, no. We just need some, like, election shit. And, like, yeah, your heart's in the right place. But, uh, uh, I'm like, my heart? This is not my heart. This is the fucking law. You know, you know, this is, you know, my heart is here inside my body you know so my heart is not any place here there or anywhere so i'm not going to play these word tricks but i'm talking about the law so this is the law it's not my my heart the law my heart it beats i'm a man i'm one of the people the law is written down statutory code the law is the written law the man creates the written law. The man lives under natural law. Natural law. 
Farmer's Almanac, Jay Gruber's Farmer's Almanac, Hagerstown Almanac, 2015. That that measures like the sun, the moon, you know, the cycles, cycles of the year, you know, speculation on the uh, conjecture on the weather, and uh, that's natural law. Like, what happens, you know, when the when winter comes, the leaves fall off the tree. That's, you know, that's the law. This is the written law made by the people for government officials. Because this isn't, this isn't our law. We're above this law. This is the law for our servants. This is the law that we give our employees. Employees, yes. This is, that they're, and, and it's not really a ploy so, so it's more like there are servants. I think that that's the more yeah, more apt term. Term, and, and it's the ser the word servant is written in the law too. Um, well, that's what the law says. That's yeah, what they are. They are servants. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Trustees and servants. Yeah. So, so what we're saying now is, it's time to to have an orderly, you know, uh, uh, re constitution of the law we need to reconstruct and repair the law and uh, um and that uh this is what the law this is what the law demands and uh um and uh uh let's see um anyway uh that it, it's it's only logical why why give away like the right to kill you to folks who have written out plans on how to do that and are doing it right in front of your face. Okay. And again, when we talk about the Tea Party, we, we don't want to be uh, 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 um, forgetting about the left-wingers who are taking this idea of we are at war, it is a war zone, and then mass surrendering to yeah, the agents who are carrying out the war. So, yeah. you know, by saying, hands up, don't Let's shoot, shoot right. We surrender, get right. on knees, now we're going to die. And so this is another thing I'd like to get into and is that we are, we're confronting all of these people. We've documented them. We go to the lawyers and legal counsel of the Federal Reserve Bank in Richmond. That's the top of the top that I know of. I don't know anybody else in this town that uh, that is above the Federal Reserve Bank. I don't I don't know I don't know any institution or entity. If there is one, they need to be dragged out. You know, the leader of that institution needs to be dragged out on the street instantly and shot in the head. But uh, um, the Federal Reserve Bank is the tops, and we've contacted them. You know, we go to the to the police and we say, look. Uh, you know, we're presenting you with this. We, we got you violating the law. What are you gonna do about it? Like, the contact the Commonwealth Attorney's Office. Like, look, we got all this fraud and crime on camera. You can't deny it. It's irrefutable. You can't make any excuses up to say anything other than exactly what happened. And yet they do. And they <laughs> don't do a thing. They just remain silent. I mean, they use it. I mean, how many times I, have we seen, like, I'll walk up on that shit bird that, that they call, that some folks call Sheriff, like fucking Sheriff Buford P. Justice, Sheriff Uncle Ruckus, <laughs> Sheriff Retarded Uncle Ruckus, fucking uh, Captain Torture, Captain Retarded Torture, no offense to those with developmental disor disorders. Uh, um, uh, I'm taken. Yeah, well, amen, none taken from me. But this fucking dipshit idiot, C.T. Woody. I, I'm like, hey, C.T., what do you think about this fucking proof of, uh, you know, violations of the law? I'm, I'm showing to you right now. Uh, I'll, I'll address that at a later date. So you, uh, you're invoking your, you know, Fifth Amendment rights to, to remain silent. Yes, I am. So you're, you're, you, you uh, operate under the Constitution, you know, there, but certainly not in this instance where well, you, when, it, when it suits them. Yeah, all that. Wait, what's he saying? Oh yeah, that's right. You're right. I'll do it now, but I won't do it then. 
And this guy, you got this guy later on saying he's, I've been in a drug unit of the police squad. I've been in the murder part of the police squad. Yeah, because he's a fucking murderer and he's a drug dealer. <laughs> Just look up heroin dealing in the in the in the Richmond City Jail. Like, I mean, how many uh, uh, how many sheriff's deputies have got caught? Like, uh, uh, getting, getting heroin into that jail. There's heroin in there now. You can't even keep heroin out of the jail, so why are you putting people in there for heroin? Some guy died the same in the jail. He was in for heroin possession, and the same week, a, a sheriff's deputy was caught, caught, uh, you know, smuggling heroin into the jail. They can't even keep the heroin out. How can you put somebody in jail for, for having heroin? And the CIA is exporting the, the pot, you know, heroin, heroin from Afghanistan and and all that other into the military bases. Yeah. And, you know, okay. So anyway, well, And then they, you heard about the cop that got caught with like five pounds of marijuana. And they go, and they go, oh, he's not going to be charged with anything. It's okay. Just take the marijuana from him. It's like... Okay. Okay. <laughs> I, can I? Yeah. I do want to go. Where I have five pounds of marijuana and go. Don't worry about it. Man, I, I wish I could fucking afford five pounds of marijuana. I mean, of course, I always just consume the cannabis, uh, which which segues into a uh, another subject. Um, the uh, there's a Virginia normal lobby day, and there's a Facebook page for that. And uh, the Facebook page is super suspicious. I don't know any of these fucking people on this Facebook page. Until I see Nathan Cox, who makes a post, I need to talk to the organizer of the event. Um, So I noticed that. And so I was like, uh, I'm going to post on this page. And I'm going to post a couple things. One of the things I've done more than once is consume cannabis at the state capitol during a conspicuous time or something, you know, I the last time I did it, it was in front of um, a news camera and Glenn's yeah. camera, and I was holding these two documents uh, and uh, puffing on a joint, and uh, um, there were a crowd of people and uh, news cameras, and the news camera, we got on camera that the news camera did not want to film while I was consuming cannabis yeah. at a cannabis rally, rally. at the state capitol. Yeah. And, uh, and then I told the, the, uh, um, the cameraman that uh, I'm, I'll fucking track down a cop. Get Find a Richmond cop, find a state capitol police cop, find a state trooper, well, yeah, and I'll the one, blow this marijuana the, smoke. Find the one that in, was on the bicycle. The yeah, that are running, running away, <laughs> and I will blow the cannabis smoke in their face. Not in an insulting way, but just to make sure that they... That it seemed like, look, I'm, you know, they know exactly what I'm doing, but they don't, they don't want to get, uh, uh, they don't want to get caught on camera, to, like having us smoke. I mean, so they'll run away, you know. So it's like, oh, they know exactly what we're doing. We've been doing it for years. We've been smoking cannabis, you know, at the state capitol for years. So the Virginia Normal page, which has got the same old like you know, sketchy hacks, sketchy protest TV protest hacks, um, is cell leaders. Cell leaders. Thank you, Glenn. Yeah, cell leaders. Cell leaders. Yeah, we got <laughs> splinter cells and factions <laughs> and cells. And cell, cell leaders. leaders yeah. uh, but these are like. <laughs> Government Ops. agents, yeah, these guys are like real sketchballs. You can't trust them. Like real untrustworthy, real fucking untrustworthy. And I've got the video proof, as always. So another thing that's untrustworthy about that is I'm posting pictures of me smoking cannabis at the uh, at the federal courthouse, me smoking cannabis at the uh, uh, at the uh, state capitol, and it's being removed off of this page. Yeah. Pulled, pulled off of it. Removed. And, and removed. Deleted. And, yeah. Deleted. Why? So, Virginia Normal. Why are you deleting <laughs> video of a uh, political uh, actor, a individual, the one of the leaders of the Virginia militia, an activist, a well-known public figure, why remove 
<laughs> this because individual you... explaining how cannabis is lawful for all and that we don't need the government's permission to do it and I prove Maybe it because by... you were showing them in a bad light. <laughs> I'm not showing anybody in any light. I'm saying this is what I, I'm I, doing. I, I, right. I oh, I, I know. But... Yeah, it's because they didn't, they didn't approve of it. I mean, right, but that makes it. me suspicious because if somebody had come to me like six or seven years ago and come up with that plan before we started doing it, I would say like, actually, yeah, they did. You know, I mean, they've been doing it since the Coptic Church. You know, and and even before then, you know, but but you know, this is not my original idea, but like, I'm the only one that's been doing it around here. And, like, it is. And beyond that, it, it's not just cannabis. Because this is another thing they're going to do. They're going to go, oh, well, let's just give them the weed. And then they'll shut up. Because they will. They will. You will. You fucking pieces of shit. Well, will. okay. We'll give them the weed, but they have to give up their gun rights. That's, hey, hey did you see that? Did you hear that one? And this is another thing that piece of shit Terry right. McAuliffe is doing. He said, "Hey, if you don't, uh, uh, if you don't uh, uh, pay your child support, we can take your guns away." What? So, like, or if you want your marijuana, you got to give up your gun rights. It's like, uh, no. you know what? Oh, this is another thing I, I want to show, <laughs> show, and display that that they're removing off of the uh, off of the thing. Not only am I consuming cannabis, lawfully consuming cannabis. I'm also lawfully armed. So if they think they want to attempt that stuff where, you know, they say, we, uh, uh, you know, we can't, you know, consume cannabis and have a gun, man, you guys are crazy. We can do all that and much more, you fucking assholes. Mm -hmm. Like, you guys lost your fucking ever-loving minds. You really have. You really don't know. You are absolute, you know, pea-brained you know, Neanderthal morons, if you think that any of this shit that you're attempting to push through is, is, has any effect on us, you know what, that's the thing, you can tell these, these folks, they want to hamstring and control them, because they don't want the, the, the people to see they're free, the, the, the Tea Party, they don't want the people to see they're free, they want, the, the, their intermediaries, they want kissers, that's all they want, okay, so let's get into something that, all public office is ecclesiastical. All offices are ecclesiastical. Like, you know, you know, a uh, uh, counselor, you know, prime minister, they're ecclesiastical offices. And, and like the court, you know, that, that's the government system of, you know, the judiciary, mm -hmm. you know, and that is just, that's, that's, a, that's a temple. That's right. a temple, and it has a high priest, which they call the judge. Correct. Or your honor. Okay. So, so what we're what we're getting at here is that that these folks, they they think that they're like, you know, the College of Cardinals, and then like the Pope is at the top. That 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 they have all these like we have to go through these folks to get directly what we want. Like every we have to ask these folks permission for everything, and that that. You know, anything to do with the government is like the divine, like it's divinely inspired or divinely yeah. touched. And that in order for us to do anything, we you know, to we have to go through the, the government. Temple. We have thank you, Glenn, for, for for tying that up. The priests of the temple law to get anything done. That we have to right, that we have to And ask they don't the even mission. obey their own damn holy word, so Right. You know, bow down to that. Why? It doesn't work. It doesn't work. And you go, oh, well, yeah, they have the weapons to enforce it. And, and they got you brainwashed into thinking, well, what was it Eric Holder said? You had to brainwash the people into thinking differently about guns and not and do it every day. Right. So that it gets brainwashed so that you get accustomed to hearing something. And the bigger the lie, the more they push it. And you eat it like sugar-coated saccharin, I guess, you know, or whatever. It's just, you just devour it and spit it back out, and it's ridiculous. Well, I, I can't agree more because that's the only reason that 
that I'm free is because... I don't need anybody to tell me I'm free. I'm free. I'm free... You don't need people to tell you. What enforces freedom. my freedom, though, is is my is is my my brain number one, and my brain that tells me that that the law what the law says, and that that you know though my my forefathers, my creators, and the creator of my creator, you know, and the cre- you know the creator of all too, they said, look. You know, in order to have a free state, you got to have a militia. You got to have a body of the people, armed, willing to stand up, and willing to stand up, and like you know, that are good for something rather than good for fucking nothing. <laughs> you know, what the fuck are you good for, folks? What are you good for? Going and fucking, oh, I'm a teacher in a school. Oh, great. We'll keep brain great. Brain brainwashing the kids. I'm a guard at the fucking jail. Great. I'm a tax collector for the city of Richmond. All right. Great job. You know, I mean, it's, what the fuck good are you, like, think about what good you do. Like, I'm free. I'm a, you know, how many times have we gone out and told these folks? How many times have we said, like, God bless it. Put your fucking hands down and quit surrendering. Look at where you are. You're surrounded by the damn police. Yeah, you're surrounded. And you're surrendering. Surrendering. Just like the guy who got shot on the, you know, all the other folks who got shot on the street. So, like. No matter if they were armed or not. Hands up. Hands up or not. A little kid had the fucking weapon in his thing. Pull up. Bang, bang, bang. He's dead. You should have listened. Didn't say anything. He pulled up and shot him. They were in fear for their life. From a 12-year-old child with a BB gun, they were afraid of their lives. That's ridiculous. And then you're supposed to listen to everything they tell you, do whatever they tell you, and you won't get hurt. All right. I mean... Come on. Everything on there is bullshit. I mean, how many times have we seen this just through what we, you know, what is, what they're, you know, what we have on videotape that we, that we experienced firsthand and videotaped live from multiple di- different angles, live in person, you know, uh, uh, analyzed all this, and the the media reports something completely <laughs> yeah. contradictory to that. Talk about parallel universes. <laughs> right. So, like, when I hear about, like, like, some fucking one dude fucking, like, you know, holding, you know, However many fucking hostages in a fucking uh, uh, you know cafe in Australia, I'm like, wow, this this one should be a fucking doozy. This should be a fucking good one, and it was. Look into the Sydney false flag. It's all bullshit, just like the, all the other fucking bullshit. And like, let's get into a little bit of these fucking like you know, let's uh uh, uh let's say uh bring up uh, ice ice uh, ice tea and uh, body count. And uh, uh, and go with the uh, theme because they played the uh, most recent and uh, what, what do they call that uh, uh, that thing with the uh, uh, barbecue. Oh, barbecue! Yeah. So yeah, so uh, uh, yeah, right. they played their their big hit with Ice T called what was it? Cop, Cop Killer. Killer. Yep. Okay, I remember that from high school. Mm-hmm. Cop Killer was a fucking uh, uh, issue in the election. Fucking Dan Quayle was like. You know, that fucking, like, you know, traitorous <laughs> fucking waste of oxygen whose his head yeah, needs yeah, to be on a right. fucking pike. That piece of shit brought up that fucking cop killer, <laughs> God bless it, bullshit. Um, so, so, these other cops, and when I say other, you know, what what do they kept saying about, like, uh, um, you know, oh, who's killing everybody? Oh, it's black Teenagers and white cops. That's that's the formula. So the NYPD cops that get killed, they are other. Mm-hmm. Asian and yeah. Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, I think. Yeah, yeah it looks something, like something New York Rican. Yeah. New York Rican or something. Yeah. yeah, that's what that that's what the the word on the street was from the uh, from the local crackheads I remember one time. Oh well well the, uh, he was uh, the killer is was also supposed to be part of ISIS. Oh, right! It was a fucking ISIS cop killer. Yes, yes. that's yes. a good one. Well, they got to start tying it in. Oh, I mean, my. 
And he followed the Constitution, too. I mean, come on. A constitutionalist the, the ISIS cop killer. Yeah. 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 I'm killing. Hey, wait a second. Maybe he was like. Was he Chechen? Was he like part Arab? Maybe he was an Iranian sheik, ISIS? But, but then you go like, wait a second, my fucking head hurts because like oh ISIS God. is Sunni. But wait a second, <laughs> ISIS is the Israeli Secret Intelligence Service. And uh, uh, ISIS is a fucking, uh, you know, military private corporation on Pennsylvania Avenue, you know, uh, uh, in the Reagan building. <clears throat> my fucking, oh, ISIS is ISIL. ISIS is the Islamic State. Man, if you, like, look, if you believe any of this shit, like, if you see anyone from CNN on the street, you're like, you're full of shit. If you see anybody from the Times Dispatch on the street, put a camera in their face and go, you're a fucking liar. You lie for a living. You write articles about fairy tales that are provable lies. And, and, you know, if you're a fucking anchor on the fucking news or a reporter on the news and you're like... The latest beheading that happened in front of a green screen by Islamic terrorists, you know, that's a British rapper British doing rapper it, you know, it. you know, called M- MC, what, Jin? What, you know, I mean, this, this well, shit. Well, in that case, couldn't go be a... <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, when he's, like, that shit, like, they got, like, ridiculous things that they got, got, like, these ridiculous little things. Like, everyone's, like, the big thing now is down with white supremacism. Like, that's the fucking big thing now. It's like, oh, what's the problem with everything? White people. What What's the problem with every? Oh, white privilege. I have some let, of let me privilege. have some of my yeah. fucking white privilege, please. Can I have some please. of it, please? Uh, <laughs> and, and, like, we, we go through this every time. It's like, okay, let's get fucking white. specific. Because, like, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty tan. And let's get real fucking specific. Let's get real specific. Because at least my Y chromosome is of the R-L21 haplogroup. So if you want to break it down, don't associate... And don't even associate me with anything that says cop because, like, they keep saying white cop. I'd rather be called, you know, black than a cop. <laughs> I mean, not that there's anything wrong with being called either or there's nothing really accurate about being called either either. But, but again, I, I, would, I associate more with, with so-called non-white people and with so-called black people on many more issues than I would logically with the so-called white people who are running the show, which in most cases are just degenerate traitors to their own you know, ethnic yeah. bloodlines or the fucking so-called Jews themselves, the Khazars, the Sephardim, etc. The, the ancient fucked up bloodline, the ancient really fucked up folks that are enslaving the planet at this point and uh you know uh, um i, I you, let's uh, uh let you want to we got some uh, a few more things that uh, um uh in the uh, um folks are posting some stuff uh let's see what page are you on i don't see any i haven't seen any on the, any of the pages uh, let's see. Uh, awesome, y'all supporting uh, private money and government. Uh, show blacked out, says Joseph Bowman. Wow. Know, it's, it still says it's streaming, so I don't know. Okay, well, we have uh, uh, Joseph Bowman stating show blacked out. Uh... And, uh, um, uh, Chris Lane saying, uh, thanks for the hard work, uh, and we all have to work together to eliminate the private money from government. Well, yeah, let's, I think that that's basically what we've been saying. Like, yeah, there, much. That, that is the government. Money. If you take away private. the private, the so-called private money, you take away the government. But if you, if you... If you really, if you really like uh, uh, dissect that quotation, I, I like to you know uh, uh, quote a former uh, Fed government 
governor who says all money is debt. It's formed as debt. It says it says it on the on the on the bill. It says this is legal tender for all debts, public and private. So it tells you what it is. Money is not money. It's debt, and money is the mono I. It's it's you know it's also a play on the word moon. The moon, the first. You know, it's the the god. You know, oh. and uh, um, it's also. Oh. The mono eye, the third eye of enlightenment. That's what we get to get all the things that we could get just through spirit, just through enlightenment, just through you know, you know the Christ or you know the not and the knowledge, you know, and instead we are fighting over these ever decreasing in value Balls. pieces of paper, you know, little trinkets and. Little yeah. piece of paper with freaking uh, Egyptian symbolism, Illuminati Masonic so, symbolism on it. It says this is your god. Yeah. I mean, and it, it they do serve it. I mean, you definitely because even in the church, they take the money. That's what they want the most. And they don't have to pay taxes on it, so it's a good thing. And who is a lot of like you know own a lot of property around here? The churches. Who are some of the richest folks around here? Who's the fucking mayor in this fucking town? That demon Satan church, like mm -hmm. Second Street Baptist Church or Westboro Baptist Church that that uh, uh, demon Dwight Jones uh, operates out of. But again, we put put forward that stuff. We started discussing the uh, um, what was the local uh, uh, interfaith alliance. The interfaith and, alliance. And yeah. so we started uh, discussing the Richmond Interfaith Alliance. And uh, they are that's that's they're like feds. Clergy response. They they work with the local media. They <clears throat> have these local uh, uh, town hall what they call charrettes, which are actually just charades. And a lot of them, yeah. yeah, they're they're rich, but they call them charrettes. We'll have a charrette with the neighborhood and and Bon Secours Hospital System and the Washington Redskins will hold a charrette. And the city of Richmond government and the DPU will be there and blah, blah. But it's all just a bunch of bullshit. Just so you comprehend, it's all bullshit. From the Chamber of Commerce in fucking Washington County, Hagerstown, Maryland. I'm coming for you fucking assholes. Like, you guys thought you could get away with that fucking shit? To the guys in the city of Richmond? To fucking Jeff, Jeff Lacker at the Federal Reserve Bank? I mean... I, I don't know what else what else we have to say uh, to folks. We it looks like we had a number of people like you know clicking that that they that they like that they're thank listening you. or that they're always saying thank, thank you. you. Um, always thanks to all all the listeners, um, and all the supporters, thank and you. all the supporters. Everybody supports us. Thank and we you. know we know that you're watching. I we know that you have seen these documents because you have you know. Uh, the, one, one of the guys, the first guy, the second guy at the Tea Party, uh, uh, Joshua Miller. I know that he's seen some of the document that I fucking handed him right there, that joker. Because he's removed it off of a page that he's, a, you know, like, like part an admin on. <laughs> so, like, you know, you jokes. And you plus they read it while you hand it to them and they read it so you know they see it. Oh, okay, yeah. Lee Ware. Delegate Lee Ware. While this... Joker, who's the head of the Richmond Tea Party, is trying to block me from filming Lee Ware, who's reading the document that we read earlier. This document yeah, we'll that's handed that to later. Can we'll, we'll, copy yeah, it. well, yeah, I gotta make more copies because no, I mean, this is the last no, I, one. I understand, but we'll yeah, make yeah, yeah, we'll make copies of it. I mean, because we got to for tomorrow, mm -hmm. anyways. I gotta make more copies for tomorrow because we'll be out at the uh, yeah, at the, uh, at rally, the amnesty, amnesty rally. rally, and and. Maybe we could do a lead-in to that. Now, I'd just like to say about the Amnesty Rally is, like, these folks just don't really get it. Like, they're there. You know, when the government, when it was illegal for, for the so-called illegals to be here, the government was shipping them in. When it's legal, the government's going to ship them in. <laughs> they're going to be here. Like, as long as the status quo system is there... There will be a need for folks who can't even fucking speak English to take to, to take our jobs. 
as well, long as it's the, it's the bankrupt us and drive us down more people on welfare oh, well, more people to vote the way they want to vote right. they want them to vote and it's uh it's an occupying another occupying it's another army. occupying army and and also it's just basic fucking like uh, uh supply and demand economics yeah if the labor pool is gigantic the wages are going to be low, artificially low. And it doesn't matter what a minimum wage is. It only matters what the real and not manipulated market bears. And when you manipulate every market with a foreign bank that wants to destroy everything Pretty about market. the Constitution and everything about the American people and what America stands for, then that's what you're going to fucking get. Well, no, it's not only just America. They just want humans gone. I mean, it's everybody. But they America stands against that. Well, yes, we, we, we I do um, get a lot of correspondence from folks in other countries, and they tell me America is the only hope. The armed American people are the only hope. And not hope. America with a K. America with a K ain't it. Well, you know what? We can talk about the four, you know, the Sea of Souls, you know, the Ka, the, which is the, you know, it's not Amerigo Vaspucci. America stands for the Sea of Souls. America, Ka, the soul. So this is the soul. This is the soul that will never be killed. This is the free body of the people that will never, never, never you know, submit to tyranny. Sick Semper Tyrannus. That is what we say. We don't care how much you dig our forefathers through the mud. We will not back away from that statement. You fucking tyrants, you're going to fucking get it. And we'll use the fucking law. And our law, we created it. We're above you fuckers. We're above you shitbirds. And we're, we're going we're gonna to show you that. We're going to show you that soon, and if we're the only ones that do it, that's fine. That makes the American, you know, body of the populace, I mean, it's real pathetic. I mean, we, yeah. we really do, uh, um, I mean, like, uh, you know, I, I just want to close out by, uh, by you know, uh, um, maybe uh, uh, posting, uh, posting something. You know, up on on the on, on the page, and uh, um, and uh, maybe if if I can I can uh, uh, well, find something to to you know basically there's a uh, there's a property there's a farm in uh, in Hagerstown it, mm -hmm. it belonged to a family mm -hmm. member and. Uh, it was up on him. And uh, yeah, if, if if we can if we can get that up um, on the screen. Yeah, I know what you're talking about. Basically, uh, mm -hmm. the the gist of the matter is right there. A uh, uh, the yeah, I mean, I've got it. I've got it up uh, right now. Okay, yeah. So here it is. Fraud. Dead man sells gypsy farm for zero dollars in Hagerstown. And uh, this scene. This this. Kind of a deal was brokered by a, you know, head of chamber of commerce, vice president of Merrill Lynch, um, you know, uh, uh, chair of the economic uh, uh, development commission for Washington County, and her uh, family member of hers is the county attorney, and she sits on. And this property is mostly easement. She sets the protocol for the easement of the of the farm uh, of property in Washington County, and it's a national historic landmark. She's also on, uh, uh, you know, uh, 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 county commission deciding protocol for, you know, historic farm landmarks and sh stuff like that. So, so basically, what we're showing here is, is uh, um, that uh, that this property was sold multiple times for zero dollars. And this woman, Suzanne Downey Hayes, was, was doing it. It was sold to a gypsy, a teenage gypsy, and, uh, uh, and it was sold for zero dollars. And it was sold after 
the listed seller's name was dead two years afterwards. Mm -hmm. And that's just the tip of the iceberg where this begins. And uh, if you click on that, you'll see right now it has, well, that's weird because it just had 136 views, but now it says it has 134 views. Mm -hmm. um, so, uh, uh, but anyways, there are a number of folks that have seen this. I, you know, I shared it and uh, I, I got a message from an administrator on a page that's called Maryland, uh, uh, Maryland, uh, what is it called? Uh, uh, Farmers Exchange. And the first message I got was 23 hours ago, and it said, and it's from a woman named Erin Mosher Mark, what's up with the post? And I respond, greetings, Erin. I am not sure specifically what you are inquiring. Uh, and then... 11 hours later, there was a response, the in-depth fraud report on the Farmers Exchange. I am a libertarian and am all for the disclosure of insider dealings, but got a message from the person you disclosed, I'm presuming, that's Suzanne Downey Hayes, who was quite peeved by the way uh, I'm the admin on the page, and she asked me to delete it. Anyway, just wondering if it's government or private issue. So four hours later, I responded, Greetings, Aaron. I presume she was peeved, because that was my intent. Uh, the exchange of the property 20139 Landis is clear fraud. I have made it my life's work to expose the corrupt to the core government officials, and in this case, of the folks involved in this scam slash the farm, it is a family issue as well. Peace and blessings. And then I sent her the new video where I went into more depth. It's a 12 minute video called Fraud Verified, County uh, Washington County, Maryland Officials Complicit. And in that video also there is a uh, um, exchange with a Washington County real estate official uh, and I ask her if she's ever seen a dead person sell a piece of property two years after they were dead for zero dollars. And she said no. Um, but that's that's on there. That's a 12 and a half minute video. So if you want to check out that, it's called Fraud Verified Washington County, Maryland Officials Complicit. Then she replies, and this is many, a, a nearly, you know, 20 hours after the original correspondence. I understand what you're doing, and I commend you for it. Unfortunately, I don't think it's appropriate for the Farmers Exchange page, so I'm going to have to delete it. I'll keep an eye open on your page, and thanks for keeping us all posted. So, I haven't been back to check and see if she, uh, um, she removed it, but it is on the Washington County uh, Chamber of Commerce page, and it has not been removed from there as of you know just before airtime. And again, uh, I haven't shared that with that many people. It's only been up for like a day and a half, and it already has 135 views. And it doesn't matter if it had one view. I mean, she saw it, and these folks are documenting it. There was another post on something called Hagerstown Rant. Let's go back and see what that. Uh, that says, uh, this says, uh, I posted the video, the sequel, uh, fr which is called Fraud Verified Washington County, Maryland Officials Complicit. And then I posted on Hagerstown Rant, which has over 700 uh, uh, folks on the page. The other one, the Farmers Exchange, that had, uh, uh, I think it was like maybe several thousand Um but anyways, uh, uh, see, you know, uh, verified proof of clear fraud. Man sells farm for zero dollars in two thousand eight. Two years after his death, four years later, owns sells property. Owner sells property to individual with exact same name again for zero dollars. Um, and I go into detail about who's doing it and their connections to the, you know, to the property and so forth. Uh, um, and then uh, John Krause uh, responded. Weren't very, concern, weren't very concerned about 
covering their tracks, eh? And uh, they weren't, uh, obviously, but but they didn't think that they need to. They can just they do whatever anyway. they want. They did it anyways, and now they think that they can cover their tracks by you know strong arming folks who are who like the information to remove the information. So I thought that that was interesting that the woman said yeah, she yeah, liked it really and that she wasn't going to remove it, and then she all of a sudden changed her mind. Must have been a little more pressure than the first time, and said Suzanne Downey Hayes was peeved the first time. So if she was peeved the first time and she didn't do anything, she must have upped her ante. Yeah. Um, John Krause, I'm responding to him. Suzanne Downey Hayes is contacting Facebook admins requesting they remove posts regarding this incident. According to the admin of the Farmers Exchange, one of the persons exposed is she is quite peeved. They have not seen. They have not seen uh, my my old computer and the the N sticks. Excuse me, sticks. So it says C, but it should be seen. Seen anything yet? It seems the public officials were covering each other's tracks, and they did not think anybody would look into this issue. And he responds, "Stick it to them. I'm tired of the corruption. It is choking this town." Amen, John Kraus, it's choking Hagerstown, and it's choking every town because this shit that I see in Washington County is the same exact shit with the Economic the Development Authority in the city of Richmond. The freaking uh, uh, Venture Richmond is equivalent to the Chamber of Commerce up there. The same bullshit. If they want a fucking property or if they want to give somebody a property, if they want to get a cut of a property... Their guys are going to have the inside shot, and everybody knows everybody else. Mm -hmm. And they're corrupt, and they don't even abide by their own fucking rules. So, I mean, yeah, I, I, I must say, like, you know, uh, we, do have, we do have an audience in the other room, and, uh, you know, you know I, I, uh, uh, I think that we, we give a lot of information, like, it's, you know, I know that, that I'm, I've been contacted and, and Glenn has been on, like, these international and widely known shows as experts. Folks with information that other folks, you know, that people, I should say, with information that other folks don't have. Where they go, like, well, I heard this, or I think this, or this might be the case. Like, we know this shit. Mm -hmm. We know, like... Who the movers and shakers in all these in Pennsylvania, in Annapolis, in Richmond, in 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 Washington D.C., in Hagerstown, in 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 Berkeley anywhere, County, in, anywhere like, in, re, in, in, in Petersburg. <laughs> we know who's doing what, where. We know who's doing the shit in fucking you know in in specific spots in foreign countries. So, so what we're saying is this is the this is the program. I will say, this is the program. This is the counterintelligence, you know, cell operation of the body of the people. If you ever wondered what happened to, like, uh, uh, the original founders, and you look at Alex Jones and you say, yeah, that's just not quite it. Uh, that seems a little bit too Jewy. That seems a little bit too professional wrestling. That seems a little bit too shysty. It seems like they rock leave out the most important part. Rock star. Yes. Russell Brand. Mark Dice. You know, Luke Radowski. Uh, if you think those guys seem phony, Adam Kokesh. It's because they are. It's because they are not the descendants of the body of the people. They are not the descendants of the, fa the, the founding fathers. They do not have... They do not want the Constitution. They don't even comprehend the Constitution. They don't get it. We, we comprehend it. We get it. We are the descendants. We have been running the show around here until the usurpations, you know, from, you know, the 1600s up to, you know, up to about the 20th century and, and then even after that. But again, slowly they're, they're, they're taking the real American, they're taking the body of the people, and they're, they're attempting to put us on our knees, and they're saying, hands up, don't shoot, 
And everybody else is saying, we'll put our hands up, and we will fucking shoot, and we'll go fucking vote for these crooks, and we'll fucking, you know, plead, say, oh, please do this one small thing that could quite possibly, in a small way, be considered constitutional, and then we'll suck your dick. (laughs) Man, we say, fuck you to you out there who's like, uh, well, uh, some elections, or we think your heart's in the right place, or, you know, this is a public meeting, and you're, 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 uh, violating yeah, the you're peace, you're not, you're not being peaceful. Man, sir, the meeting hasn't even got, gone to order. Is this oh, a public meeting? Now it's a private meeting. What's the rules of the meeting? <laughs> yeah, this is a public meeting, then it's a private meeting. You know, and, and in the meantime... You're not welcome here, we don't want to hear you. Yeah, well, my head's been bludgeoned, but I'm a, it's unbowed. I don't care for you people. Yeah, I don't care. but they're not people. I don't, you see, yeah, persons, there's persons, I don't care for there's citizens, citizens, they're agents of the government, they are sycophants, <clears throat> but they are certainly not of the body of the people. That is a privilege. It's a privilege to live free. It is. I have not always been privileged to live free. I am free now. I am free as we speak. At this moment, I am free. I will always be free. Live free or die. Yep. Six separate tyrannists. Thus always to tyranny. Or, excuse me. Thus always to tyrants. So, you know, if you want to be free, go go for it. Join us. We'll be out at the state capitol. We'll be communicating with you a lot more before then. January 14th. High noon. You know, since it's the solstice day, we'll say high noon. That's when, you know, the sun is at its highest on the horizon. That's very important. At high noon, our hour, high noon, the hour of enlightenment, the hour of the light. We will, uh, we're going to, we're going to muster, we're going to hold a press conference, we're going to start, you know, corralling the uh, uh, members of the House of Delegates and, yeah, and get, yeah, our yeah, and we, yeah, I mean, it's, this is our demand because, again, we, we're, we're saying, like, each time we're going to do this, we're going to say, like, look, these guys are taking our stuff and they're not violent, stop paying your taxes, you know, start yeah, burning your, start, start, start burning your DMV them. cards, you know, they don't mean fucking shit. They don't mean fucking a God blessed thing. They're they're evil. They're against God. They're against natural law. They're against common law. They're against the Constitution of the United States. They're against the Constitution of the Commonwealth of Virginia. And if other folks want to do that, that's fine. We're going to get the strings of the power. We're going to pull the strings. We're going to be the ones divvying out the dole then. Not you. We're not going to be debt slaves to you. You guys are pathetic. You're the reason we're here now. You're the reason we are here and we are challenging you right to your face. And instead of standing up when you're exposed and saying like, oh, you know, we got caught, exposed. We're completely got our pants down. And like, you know, it's exposed that we are nothing but corrupt criminals and that we're doing these obvious frauds. Instead of that, you degenerate scumbags get pissed off and get angry at the folks, uh, uh, you know, that uh, uh, are, uh, you know, you know, uh, uh, you know, just, just holding the, the information out there. It's public information. She's, say, Sudan, Suzanne Downey Hayes is, is peeved. Oh, yeah, give me a call. Get peeved at me. I'd love to talk to you. i got some questions for you. Yeah. Get, get peeved with me. Instead, you get peeved at a freaking Facebook admin? Come on! What a joy! Good job, great! Bravo, Suzanne Down hey, Downey Hayes! You 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 get caught red freaking handed, and then you get angry at a Facebook admin. Oh, good job! Well, get get angry at the admin on your own, you know, Chamber of Commerce page, cause that shit's still up there. You know, I got video to prove that. So, and I'm videotaping everything. I've, you know, I have lots of, lots of conversations with more public officials about this. But anyways, this is it. This is, this is what we're doing. Uh, again, Glenn, Glenn has exposed some, you know, just blatant election fraud that can't yeah. be refuted. Glenn's exposed the, the connections between Monsanto yeah. and the, 
anti and the march against yeah, Monsanto, Monsanto, and it's it's the same fucking thing at the local, national, and international yeah. level, yeah. and. That you know, been on on shows like Vinnie Eastwood and and you know on on Randall Bundy's page, and uh, you know they call me up to fucking talk about like how international government functions on international television and say like, well, this is Chris Dorsey. He's an economist and he's an expert on the law and international banking and government. So. I mean, you know, we, we really do need do need some more assistance in marketing. We need maybe some more assistance in, in some technical things that we're doing. But, again, this is just an intelligence debriefing. If one person saw this, then they're one oh, of the people yeah. now. Uh, you know, we know that they're, they're watching. They're freaking out. They're freaking out about what we're doing, you know. And they don't, they don't want to change. They just want to remove the they information. They just want us to shut up. Well, they just want us to shut I up. I won't sit down. I won't shut we up. Are and I will never not gonna, go away. Yeah, we are never going to surrender. We will never surrender. Sure. We will always be in their faces. We'll get a lot of video of the cops tomorrow. We'll get a lot of video of the left and right fucking controlled whatever, opposition. Whatever happens. Whatever happens, be, we'll it'll get it. We, it'll be on film. And again, like, it, it's, it's like... That's all we can do. That is is, is document, it, document so what's happening. Back up what we say. Back up what we say. To hold we got we got the fraud. Said. Like again, like they, it, it's like there is no there is no enforcement of the law. If you look at a at a law enforcement officer, you're only looking at your own enemy and occupying army force. You might as well. You're looking at uh, like. Um, I, I'm trying to think of an occupying force besides the United States military. Mm -hmm. uh, you're looking at a British soldier during the Revolutionary War time, but it's not even, it's worse than that now. It's worse. It's worse. You're looking at an agent of the state of Israel in your, in your, uh, Mossad, uh, yeah. you're, you're looking at a Mossad agent when you're looking at a, at a, uh, um, well, and, and oh, um, police they're, they're, New York is now um, training over in Israel. They have a yeah. police station over in Israel now. Look right. it up. It's so yeah. yeah. Look up. Look up. Local police forces being trained by the Mossad. Look up Homeland Security. Yeah, they just, Mossad. They just announced I mean, that one at the, the New. They have New York office. substation. Yeah, yeah substation they, 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 in Israel. There's there's been an exchange between the New York NYPD and, so, and the Israeli so yeah, defense just, forces. Just tying Mossad. that in. Just so, tying that in. But a, anyway, you're looking at a. You know, it, it doesn't even mean matter because it, it, if it's it, it doesn't mean it's foreign anyways because the Federal Reserve Bank it's controlled by a bank in a foreign country and uh, you know has mostly foreign ownership, but also it's just what controls you except for what is mandated to control you, which is the government that you control, the government of by and for the people. Instead, this is the government of by and for the bank. The Federal Reserve Bank, the International Banking Cartel, their international world government arm, the United Nations, the IMF, the uh, uh, NATO, the World Bank, and even foreign governments like China and Russia, and especially Israel. But, you know, they give away interest to foreign governments all the time. We have, we even have, I mean, nothing wrong with the Spanish government, I guess, besides the fact that they have a fucking shitbag fucking royal family, <laughs> it, it is... They, you know, they own they own uh, highways in, in the in the metro area. So like, crazy, even man. if it's just like a country like Spain that you're like, well, at least it's not fucking Russia, China, or Israel. You know, they own fucking they own shit in here, and you know, like infrastructure, like the roads. So tell them to fix them then. T right, I mean, <laughs> tell them to fix them. right. <laughs> you know, uh, but but yeah, yeah, I think we're. It, yeah, it's. I guess close. we're 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 getting close. We've been on for for about two hours now, and uh, um, I, I just want to thank anybody and ev everybody I who. I want to thank all those, uh, those that watch us, support us. We'll, we'll keep going. You keep you keep watching. Yeah, I mean, uh, um, God bless, and uh, yeah, these just this is the only thing that matters as far as the government goes. Everything else is a distraction. You know, everything else is. Is like the uh, uh, the antithesis. I mean, it, and we and we covered it. Uh, um, it. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what any so-called government official says because 
If you're talking to a government official, you're talking to your servant. All right. Well, this has been Get the News Straight. I'm Glenn Sutphin. This has been Chris Dorsey. Y'all have a happy, merry Christmas. Oh, you know. Merry um, Christmas. Happy solstice. Solstice. Uh, Yo. Yo. Feliz Navidad. Feliz Navidad. Uh, Joyous Noel. Ah, yes. And for all you atheists, have a good day. God bless. Peace. Peace.